Are you bilingual? Trilingual? You might have a better brain than me, and you might live longer. Hola hombres, esta tres. Uh, that doesn't work. That's my name is the number three. Thanks, mom and dad. Uh, what was I in Spanish class? Manuel, I think. Hola, me amo Manuel. I don't like that either. I think, you know, I'm just going to stick to English for now. Thanks for tuning into D News, everybody. It looks like bilingualism isn't just useful when you're traveling or when you're trying to order food at your favorite restaurant or if you're trying to figure out what those girls on the train are talking about across from you and if it's your shoes. No, it uh, it's also could help you live longer. They know this because when they tested English-speaking seniors, the ones that were bilingual answered quicker. Without getting too deep into the technical and medical details, bilingual brains are better at switching between major tasks, like languages, and simultaneously filtering out superfluous information. Obviously, this is really beneficial throughout people's lives, but if you enroll children in a bilingual school, it will not only help them learn to learn, but keep their brain agile throughout their life. It's not the only way. You can also exercise, do stimulating tasks, or you know, even do the crossword, and they've all been shown to keep your brain spry. Although this is the most fun, unless you want to know what 77 down is. Vacation destination for sandwich lovers. Ooh, Delhi. Ha, you, you know, India, Delhi. So now that you're all jazzed to learn Cantonese or whatever, let's have science stomp on your bilingual dreams for a minute. After about 12 months, you begin to filter out sounds that aren't found in your language, which is why my German friend Nina can't really do the th sound very well, and I can't do the the you know the U with the dots I can't do that they're just not part of our learning that being said it is of course possible to learn new languages but it's better to be exposed early like before you're four years old if living longer isn't a good enough reason for you to learn a new language then perhaps this will help look we're about to get real deep words are just an outward expression of emotions and thoughts they don't really mean anything on their own unless we assign them meaning design student Pei Ying Lin created this infographic of untranslatable emotions. My favorite shortcoming in the English language is that chasm that exists between liking someone and loving someone. You might really like them or whatever, you might adore them, but that's a little trite. The infographic shows that Italian and Korean have a word for love that's specifically for friends, family, inanimate objects, and pets. We have to use the same word to express romantic love to our wife or our husband as we would express to our mom or our dog or a really nice painting. That is insane. Here are some other words that we don't have that show up in other cultures. I'll probably pronounce some of them really badly. In Japan, they have a really weird one, bakushan, which it has to do with a beautiful girl, but only when viewed from behind. This one is really good. It's Filipino, and it has to do with seeing something cute and wanting to pinch or squeeze it, and it's called giggle. In Mexican Spanish, they have a word for when you feel embarrassed for watching someone else's humiliation. That's pena ajena. You get the picture. So there are a lot of words that English just doesn't have that express these emotions. So not only can you learn another language, maybe you can just learn these and that'll help you live longer. I mean, probably not a lot longer, like a few hours, but hey, at least you can express yourself better. Have you ever made up a word? I'm sure you have. I know I do it all the time. Leave your made up word down in the comments and give a definition so that we can all start using your fake words and maybe they'll become real words. So thanks for watching and ti voglio bene, which is the Italian word for I really care about you but I don't love you like a romantic partner. So it'd be nice if we had a you know word in between like and love. Thanks for watching. I'm Trace. See you later.